Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Lazy Pastry Chef and today we're making a raspberry fashion eclair. Please stay tuned. If it's your first time stopping by, thank you so much for taking the time out to check out my channel. I upload content like this at least every other day. If you like it, please feel free to subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that bell. That way you're notified every single time I upload new content. Let's get into it. This eclair will have layers of chocolate cake, a raspberry cream filling, a chocolate ganache filling, and a raspberry mirror glaze with a sharp, oh, excuse me, with a shortbread crust on the bottom. To get started, we'll make some milk chocolate ganache because we're gonna need that to make the milk chocolate ganache filling. The ganache has to set at room temperature, so you wanna make it ahead of time. If you've not seen my video on how to make milk chocolate ganache, I'll pop the link in the description below. Please feel free to check it out because in that video, I go a lot more into detail on how to make chocolate ganache. I'm just showing you a little bit of footage over here. Chocolate ganache is set up, pipe it into a mold, and then smooth out the top surface and put it in the freezer for about four hours for chocolate ganache to set. Then baked off a chocolate sheet cake. I will pop a link in the description below for my chocolate cake recipe. If you've not seen it, please feel free to check it out. While the chocolate cake's cooling off, I'm gonna stop working on my raspberry cream filling. To make the raspberry cream filling, I start by whipping some heavy cream to soft peaks, which I then set aside. I then combine sugar, egg yolks, and whisk this on a double boiler until it reaches a temperature of 165. Once the eggs get to temperature, I add the gelatin which has been blooming in an ice bath. I whisk this until it completely dissolves into the egg mixture. I then take it off the heat and add the raspberry puree. Once the raspberry puree is added, I then gently fold in the whipped cream to make the raspberry cream filling. I then start cutting up some chocolate cake using a cookie cutter that came with the silicone mold that I'm using to make this dessert. I'll pop the link in the description below. Please feel free to check it out if you're interested in getting it. I then start layering the dessert with layers of the raspberry cream filling the chocolate ganache filling, and some chocolate cake. I pop this in the freezer for about four to six hours for the raspberry cream filling to set. I then proceed to make the shortbread crust. I will pop a link in the description below. I'm sorry, it feels like I'm not advertising right now, but these videos, I'm making them, and for some reason, nobody's watching them, and I feel like to learn how to properly make pastries, it, it's kind of like working an assembly line, because you saw I started off by assembling the chocolate cake, the chocolate ganache, now I'm working the crust. So these are all important components. I know it's not as interesting as, say, to work, excuse me, to watch how to make a chocolate mousse cake, but Learning how to make a shortbread crust could come in handy in situations like this, so please feel free to check out that content. Once 
Once the eclairs are ready, I unmold them and pop them back in the freezer for about 10 minutes just for the outside layer to set. I then glaze them using a raspberry mirror glaze. I will post a video on how to make a raspberry mirror glaze sometime next week. Please just give me a little bit of time. Thank you. Once that's done, I let the excess glaze drip off and then I transfer them onto the shortbread crust that I baked off earlier. I decorated them with some fresh raspberries and tampered milk chocolate just to give it a little bit of extra oomph. Alright folks, that's all the time we have today. If you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, it's your boy, the Lazy Pastry Chef. Peace and love, everybody.